हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम पास फ्यू वीक्स आई वाज प्रिपेयरिंग माय सेल्फ एज यू सी ऑन द स्क्रीन फॉर द नन अदर देन गेट हब फाउंडेशन सर्टिफिकेट एग्जामिनेशन आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर सम ऑब्जर्वेशन विच आई हैव observe while attending for this github foundation certificate examination which i was able to attend last week and clear it successfully this video is going to be divided into the three parts one is the important topics which i think you should focus on or pay attention before you appear for github foundation certificate examination the second part we are going to talk about the preparation material and the last and important is the practice test which will help you to prepare yourself for the github foundation certificate before we get into the details of this video if you are new to this youtube channel i basically try to share my learning experience on devops tools like git ansible jenkins uh, on linux shell scripting as well as various cloud certifications be it fundamentals associate level or professional level i would recommend you to go through my playlist and if you think this channel has added a uh, knowledge to your knowledge base or level up your skills kindly do like it or subscribe to my youtube channel and leave a comment on it your mood your comments liking and subscribing to my youtube channel definitely motivates me to come up and prepare for the new content with the new technologies in the market and bring up to you through this youtube channel with that said without any further delays let's get to the main video so friends here are few topics which i think you should pay an attention and should prepare very thoroughly before you go for the github foundation certification exam so here we are the first topic is git concepts the i for i found two or three questions on branch repository pull request and commit i have created a video on git uh, git tutorials for beginners which i'm going to share the link at the end of this video which will help you to get familiar with the concepts of branch repository merge commit pull request and other other things um, the second topic is github copilot so uh, what what is the plan for the uh co uh, copilot individual business enterprise are those free or you need to pay something for that you will see one or two questions on this and there would be also questions on how can you integrate copilot with with the help of extension with uh, visual studio code jetbeans and what are the compatible ides where uh, for the copilot stuff the third important topic is github marketplace which is basically github apps and actions i found around two to three questions on this so i would definitely request you to basically get uh, get yourself familiar with the github marketplace um, moving to the next topic is github desktop and i found around two questions on this like what features does github desktop uh, offers you when compared to the github.com so we have add repository clone repository fork repository creating managing branches commit pushing uh, reverting appending also you can create the issues and the pull request with the help of github uh, desktop the moving to the next topic is github code space i found around two questions on this where how can you customize your code space also which machines um, i would say which operating systems does the code uh, code spaces support 
Moving to the next one, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the benefits or what features the GitHub desktop offers as compared to github.com. Uh, the another important topic is GitHub authentication. And I found a uh, a lot of questions around five to 10 questions on this, like how can you set up a 2FA, uh, which is two factor authentication. Uh, the issues were, uh, there were questions on recovery codes, uh, SAML single sign or uh, login, um, SMS authenticate with the pass keys. So I would, uh, I would definitely recommend you to thoroughly prepare on the GitHub authentication where you will see around five to 10 questions in the exam. The Another important topic is GitHub Enterprise. I found out one or two questions um, and which is divided into the cloud versus server. Um, moving to the next uh, topic is GitHub accounts. And there were around four to five questions definitely on this uh, personal uh, uh, pro personal account uh, organization. Uh, there was question on the teams organization teams uh, or I would say GitHub teams. Uh, then there was a question on uh, GitHub Enterprise account. Uh, moving to another important topic is GitHub organization. And there were a lot of questions on this. Uh, so you should be familiar with uh, the roles like owners, members, moderators, uh, billing managers versus security managers, outside collaborators, uh, permissions of each role of these, right? What permissions bill manager has, like for an example, they can manage the invoices. They can basically manage the bill related queries. Uh, moderators have the provision to add and remove the um, uh, uh, some uh, unwanted people which they don't want to be a part of the project or the organization uh, owners has the admin right so that's that's where it is the main important right and there was a question on what happens if you do not enroll yourself for the two-factor authentication does your account get suspended uh, does your account get deleted or you would not be able to log into the organization. So the correct answer is you would not be able to log into the organization. It doesn't suspend your account. It, it doesn't delete your account, right? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, about a uh, few, few points earlier that there would be a question on GitHub personal account, which is pro and free. So you should be familiar what features pro account gives versus the free account. Uh, moving to the next important topic is GitHub Mobile. You will find two questions around this. Uh, that's what I encounter, but it totally depends upon to the examination to examination. But you will see the questions on GitHub Mobile. So with GitHub Mobile, what can you do? You can try it. You can manage the notification. You can read, review, collaborate on the issues and the pull request, uh, push uh, push notifications when someone mentions your uh, username, right? So that's, that's, that's an important thing you should remember and you will see questions on this. Uh, moving to our last slide where uh, you will find questions on GitHub projects versus projects classic. One or two questions, not much on that, but you should be familiar with board layout, table layout, roadmap uh, layout. So board layout, <coughs> table layout is nothing but your spreadsheet, right? And board layout is if you're familiar with the Kanban board of agile methodology, it gives basically an overview of how your item or issues are moving uh, when I look at the project thing. Roadmap is basically over a period of time span. So just, just, uh, just be aware about these three layouts and you will, uh, you would be able to answer th those questions in the examination. Then there were a few questions on labels, milestones, what labels are used for. Labels are used for issue categorization. Mile milestones are basically used to track the progress of it, right? Um, there were there was a question on uh, GitHub project insights. Uh, uh, also, there were one or two questions on Git uh, GitHub uh, draft pull requests. What hap when what happens when you uh, put your pull request into the draft mode? Right, that's that's an important thing to understand whether. Uh, uh, whether you can whether someone needs to review it or what happens does it does it 
does it goes to the code reviewer if you put your pull request into the draft mode right um, there was only very very simple one i would one question on github markdown so you should be familiar with a um, with the markdown uh, commands or I, markdown commands not but i would say the markdown things what what i do if i place two asterisk in front of uh, github and two asterisks after GitHub, right? Is it a bold? Is it an italic? Uh, if I put an underscore and single asterisk, what happens, right? So those questions were there and you should be familiar with it. Uh, don't get into the much depth of it, but you will see an easy, easy questions on uh, Markdown. Uh, moving to the next important topic is GitHub secu uh, security. I found three questions on this. Uh, uh, it was related to security policies, uh, security advisors, code scanning, uh, branch protection rule. Definitely, that's an important. If you want no one uh, to, to merge the code, uh, that's where the branch protection rules comes into the picture. Uh, so be familiar with this concept and you will see one or two questions on this. And the last one is the GitHub code owners, right? So. Uh, so these are few topics which I found uh, when I was attending for the examination. I found the questions revolving under these topics and I just wanted to share with you um, uh, so that you can thoroughly prepare yourself before you attend for the uh, GitHub Foundation certification exam. So with that said, let's quickly get into the preparation material and the practice test where, who, uh, what material you should rep uh, refer and whose practice test you should go through. So let's get that in a moment. So friends, from the preparation perspective, uh, we have the course for GitHub Foundations by Microsoft. Don't worry, I'm going to share this link uh, with you where it covers uh, all the necessary topics which I showed up in the slide uh, where it uh, and helps you to prepare for the GitHub Foundation exam. And those are the simple mini topics. Um, each topic ranges from 15 minutes to one hour kind of thing. And the good thing is um, it has the knowledge check also. So it helps you to get yourself uh, prepare for the GitHub uh, Foundation certification exam. The another course here is the GitHub Foundation full course by the Andrew Brown, where he has gone through each and every chapter, what is mentioned in our, in the course practically and helps you to prepare yourself for the GitHub Foundation ex uh, exam, or I would say the certification point of view. So this is 10 hours course. I have definitely gone through this course before even attending uh, for the examination. And I was basically trying to get the practical uh, feel of it like how to create a desktop uh, how can i basically add the branch from the github desktop uh, view the pull request uh, create the uh, create so until now we have gone through the important topics and the preparation uh, material and now it's the time to do the practice test which will give you a confidence before you appear for your final uh, GitHub Foundation exam. So don't worry, I'm going to share the link by the cyber Eyed Insight. And this guy basically has gone through the 60 questions, uh, which will help you to prepare yourself and do the practice test for the GitHub Foundation uh, uh, exam. Not only that, I'm going to share one more uh, practice test link from the Udemy. Let's do it in um, and that is none other than but 
by Brian uh, thing, and he has four practice tests, each consisting of uh, uh, 60 questions. So you have 240 questions plus 60 questions from the Cyber Inside guy. Um, so that would definitely help you to prepare yourself for the GitHub Foundation certification. The good part of this Udemy uh, certification, uh, uh, GitHub Foundation certification practice exam is that it gives you the value on uh, a valid justification if you select the wrong answer why you have selected that wrong answer and what should be the correct answer i purchased this course um at, at around like ten dollars and i i have been like uh I have completed all of these four uh, practice tests and my score was around um, 80, 80 to 85 percent. Uh, so if you get that much uh, percentage in or in these four practice tests, definitely you can go ahead and appear for the GitHub Foundation certification exam. Um, the goal here is to make sure that you know um, the areas where you you need to focus before you sit for the final GitHub Foundation exam i hope this uh this video was informative and if you have liked this video kindly do hit the like button subscribe to my youtube channel and leave any leave comments uh, because your comments may def definitely motivates me to come up with such good content and share with you all and do not forget to share this video with your friends who are looking to get yourself <coughs> sorry uh, looking to get themselves prepare for the github foundation certification until then take care bye bye